Foot Army, once again with the Perb Walk. Let's start out with the headlines. I don't explain them, because the headlines speak for themselves. And tease off on woman's head with golf club. Hamburglers, loose cow. Crawling man admits to drug and alcohol impairment. Shirtless man fights chubby man in phantom bout. Shirtless man, fighter of... Naked Howling Man arrested after eating lawn. Naked Howling Man, fighter up. Is Cold War over? Gangster rapper asks. Homicidal baby tells man to drown himself. A highly intoxicated man said he could hear multiple bears and something else. A resident reported, last night, a woman was in their driveway looking for cats, and then this morning there was a gas can in the bushes. A woman reported that her unregistered drop-down low baby blue pickup truck had been stolen, and that it probably didn't have enough gas in it to make it around the block. Someone else reported that the same woman also lost her three-year-old child, and that she was shooting her snub-nosed pistol at someone's house. The child was found and fine, but the baby blue truck is still missing. An elderly disabled woman claimed that the bus drove off and left her. She said no one would help her and demanded a ride from an officer. And if the officer failed to comply, she would scream. A woman's neighbor reportedly told the kids if they didn't get out the backyard, their their own backyard. backyard. And into the house, he will take care of them. A police officer was dispatched to Bemis Public Library, where a woman almost hit a man with her car after he refused to help her catch her dog for fear of dog bites. She was cited for reckless endangerment. That dog's bark is worse than his bite. But even worse is getting run over. A cab driver called police because two men refused to pay for their taxi ride. The passengers ran off leaving behind a suitcase with an Xbox, PlayStation 3, and assorted games. Police confiscated the discarded loot. A police officer was dispatched to Family Dollar on a report of a man with a gun. The officer located the suspect in the parking lot and ordered him to the ground at gunpoint. It was learned the man stole the gun, a replica revolver, from a sheriff's costume at Casa Bonita. After ordering and not paying for food, the man rifled through the performer's dressing room. He also stole fake money from Casa Bonita. They got a whole pirate's chest in Black Bart's cave. Police learned that a male and female were in an argument. The female ran inside and locked the man out. The man then broke a front window, saying he did it for love. He later said he did it out of anger. A man and woman had been living together for the past five years, and the woman started yelling at the man because he was wearing her hoodie. The man said he sprayed her with a water bottle to calm her down, and then she punched him in the mouth. Both were sighted. I can't believe spraying her with the water didn't work. Police responded to a robbery at McDonald's. Police contacted the victim, who said the suspect approached him and asked for a dollar. He took his money out of his shirt and gave it to him. Later, the suspect approached and reached into the victim's shirt, taking the money. Both the victim and suspect used wheelchairs. The suspect was apprehended down the street. A man was robbed of his bicycle while riding home. The victim told police he recognized the suspect from the bar. 
the suspect produced a weapon and rode off on the victim's bike, leaving his own behind. Leaving his own behind what? Multiple residents called to report three explosions in the area. One resident said his neighbor told him he was using high explosives to kill gophers in his yard. Deputies were unable to contact the neighbor at his residence. Homeowners report their neighbor had devised an electromagnetic pulse using a fuse connected to a disposable camera to disable one of their four security cameras. The neighbor denied this and said the flash was from a thunderstorm. The reporting party said they'd contact the FAA. Well, it doesn't fall under their jurisdiction, but good luck to you. Sheriff's deputy was dispatched on a burglary report. While being interviewed by the deputy, the homeowners, a young couple with a new baby and an irregular sleep schedule, said they saw men hanging from the trees in their yard. The deputy deemed it likely the couple was experiencing the effects of sleep deprivation. A man reported he was assaulted by a man in a wheelchair who goes by the name Widowmaker who hit the victim with a collapsible baton and threw it in a nearby lake. Widowmaker was arrested, and the jails are full of guys in wheelchairs. A patrol car noticed a man carrying a hatchet. After initiating a stop, the suspect was found to also be carrying three knives, metallic knuckles, and a club with a metal spike sticking out of the end. He said he carried the weapons for protection after seeing shadows while walking along Little Dry Creek Trail. He was issued a summons for possessing an illegal weapon. Just the one, eh? A man with a bloody face was found pounding on the windows of the Arvada Police Department. After drinking a few beers in Snake Park, the victim said a man who looked like Spartacus was huffing paint and attacked him for no reason. A woman who was selling t-shirts at the fish concert <laughs> called police because a man who used to sell coconuts at the concert was harassing her. Is that a thing? You buying coconuts for the show? Where'd you get the coconuts? The suspect threatened to injure both victims and their families because they owed him money for coconuts. Police later found the suspect handing out flyers with topless pictures of the woman. Well, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Thanks for letting me be your own confidential informant. Keep up with the word on the street.